Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here. I'm bringing you guys another pickup video. Been a crazy weekend. I'm going to be doing a review on these two. Try to make this as quick as possible. This will probably be a little bit of a longer video. There's a lot of details on these shoes, so it'll take some uh, some time to get through these though. But um, basically, let me see. Uh, there's a dude named uh, Striker581 that was going to look out for me for these uh, Barkley Posits. I appreciated that, and I wasn't going to double up on them. I didn't need to double up, um, but, uh, but he was going to actually hook me up with a pair of these. Uh, but there's another guy that came through um, named Julio, and he actually came through with me for uh, the Air Force Maxes here, as well as the Barclay Posits today for retail. So big shout out to him, man. It was crazy how, how like, you know, I, I ended up meeting this guy. I sold him uh, my Kobe Poison Dark Frogs from my for sale video. He told me to keep his number if I had anything else that came through. And he just hit me up randomly and said, man, I got these uh, um, from a raffle if you uh, want them. And then found out he, he got these also later and he asked if I wanted that, those as well and I was like dude this is really crazy I really appreciate the lookout and met him up paid him paid him retail and uh and uh hooked up the kick so big shout out to you man I really appreciate it um I'm sure we'll definitely be in touch again um and I'll pay, pay the favor back I actually did pay the favor back a little bit um you guys will see in my next video I, I hopefully tomorrow I have a video from a Nike employee store from some pickups that I have down here Chloe's drinking water ferociously over here um <laughs> but I have a, uh, some stuff in the employee store, man. This has just been the craziest weekend. Financially, it's just been d really difficult because there's just a lot of pickups. And a lot of you guys are like, how do you pick up so many kicks? This weekend was one of those ones that it just it just hit me hard. Um, I might have to adjust and, and, and uh, get rid of a couple pairs of older ones that I might not want uh, in the collection anymore. So maybe a for sale video in the future. I'm not quite sure. Definitely need to pick up a couple extra DJ gigs because it went in this weekend too much. But, um, but man, I kind of had to. I felt like I had to. I really wanted to get some of these... All Star Kicks didn't uh, last year when I got the Kobe's right there. I got the Dunks and I got these uh, um, Flight Ones. I got those all at, at employee store prices, which were half price. I paid full retail for these ones up front. Um, so it is what it is, and uh, you know, regardless, I'm still happy I, I picked them up. Uh, actually, a lot happier than I thought it was going to be because originally when, when I saw the collection, I didn't think it was a very dope. Um, I mean, but then when you, you get them in person and you see, and I know it's a cliche to keep saying this because everybody says it, but when you get some of these kicks in person and you see them, it's definitely different than seeing them um, from like a picture in, you know, on, a, on, a, on a website. The other thing is, is you see pictures of, of the shoes on feet from like this close or whatever, but you also get like pictures of them from like this far away. And then you can kind of like, I don't know, if, sometimes if you're like 100 feet away or more, you can see the shoe and you recognize the shoe and there's parts of it that when you're up close it's like really really detailed but um but when you're farther away it's just like i don't know how to describe it but sometimes it, it kind of helps to see the shoe from farther away and up close um i saw a dude a picture of a dude rocking these uh on on um i think facebook or something like that from a real far distance and i was like dude they look actually hella fresh with uh with his outfit or whatever i mean he didn't have anything that matched um just jeans and whatever on but it looked dope, and, and so sometimes it's nice to see different perspectives on that. Anyway, I, I've babbled enough. Let's go ahead and try to get into the review. Sorry, guys. I, uh, I tend to do that a lot. Um, if you didn't see my previous videos, I did pick up the, the bronze, the blazers, and then this one I'm going to focus on the forces and, the, of course, the, the Chuck posits or the, the Barkley posits, um, if you will. Now, one thing to note, I can't show you guys a flash on this thing, unfortunately, for my camera the way it is, um, but these speckles on the upper of this shoe, not down here, but the upper our uh, 3M or whatever, they're reflective. So it kind of is kind of cool because it looks like the constellation or it looks like a bunch of stars or something like that, which is actually pretty neat. Um, the upper on here, this is actually reflective as well. And the uh, the little designs around the Barkley Posit um, is reflective also. And there's so much texture to this shoe. And when you think galaxy and when you think um, foreign places and aliens and stuff like, like that, you think textured rock and, and stuff like that. And this... It's like sprayed on texture. There's texture down here. And then this is all textured. It's all different. I mean, there's so much detail in these. It's just crazy. Um, then there's a, also a reflective material on this one. And I didn't realize this, but the, the kind of the splatters effect or whatever all, all along the LeBrons, it's reflective as well, which was really cool to actually see. So uh, just a heads up on that. I'll post a picture of the reflective part on Instagram if you guys are curious what it looks like um, with the reflection on them. But uh, the forces. Let's uh, let's look a little bit closer in here. Now, there's a dude named AKA Trent, I believe, his his uh, YouTube channel. Shout out to you, man. I did see your review on these shoes, and there's uh, another dude named Jay Paint. Check their channels out. Also, if you guys have a video related to the shoes that I'm showing you guys, 
create a video response or add it as a video response to my video and I'll approve them. It's a good way to get recognition out there as well as like I, I'll recognize your name uh, when, I, when I see it more because I'll have seen the video or whatever. So keep that in mind, guys. If you guys are YouTubers that want to try to do videos, if you have a shoe that's uh, related to the one I'm doing a review on, definitely do a video response. It's the best way to get uh, more recognition, at least for myself. Um, not that you guys all care about that. Some of you guys would uh, probably like to get a little bit more recognition, which I can understand. Um, man, I'm just trying to speed through this thing. This is going to be a long video. First thing to notice, the glow in the dark sole on this thing is just crazy bright, like a greenish slimer green sort of looking versus the Flight Ones. It's like a milky glow in the dark color. And I wish I could show you guys what they look like um, glow in the dark wise, but it's just not going to happen. I can hardly get any of the art uh, reflective stuff. Uh, maybe I can try to get a picture of them on Instagram as well if they glow in the dark. If you want that, leave a comment and I'll do that for you guys. Um, the metallic kind of finish on these things just really set this thing off. It makes this thing bling more so than, than any of the other um, Air Force Max 2013s. It is not metal. It is plastic, but it does look metal. Um, hopefully, I'm, I'm assuming that this would probably get scratched up a little bit if you uh, have like pants like these with zippers on them or something like that along the, you know, the side right here. Maybe it might scratch this up. I'm not quite sure. When you open this up, the force, it does say top secret on the other side. And you have that hit right there, which is just dope as hell. Uh, the ray gun guy um, for the uh, the logo on the tongue. Really, really cool. I love that design. Love the in inside design. It says Area 72 on the bottom of the sole. And I love the like the just the galaxy kind of uh, print on the inside of this shoe. Oh, man. I like the... I just like the, the shoes in general, man. I think that there's one fresh. You guys know I love my gray shoes. Uh, as a comparison, the uh, Force uh, right here, the Air Force 180s or the Force 180s or whatever, the strap is pretty much the same as on there. It's like the same size shoe as you can see right here. It's the same size shoe um, as, as these ones right here, not the high tops, but the mids, uh, if you guys were curious. So that's pretty much it on that. I'm going to move on to the next because we're running out of time. And I should have done multiple videos, but you know, I just, I'm try, trying not to spam you guys with too many videos, even though I've done another double upload today, but I felt it was necessary to get the video out there for you guys. But these are ones you guys are probably wanting to see. You can see right here, the Barkley Posit. Max PRM Quick Strike 250 man that's a deep price I was so pissed about that I even tweeted out like before I even see these I saw these in person I tweeted it out saying the fighter jets were better than these ones like you know like fighter jets um, are I just said were were better in my opinion than the Barkley Posits and you know I haven't got my fighter jets soon I will do a comparison video when I get them um, I should be getting them on Monday but man these things are oh my dogs are going crazy watch this real quick Look at this, they're like, they're like fighting, oh, they're, now they're gonna, oh, look at this, oh, we got a crazy, you guys catch this in action, you see Chloe, she's nuts, Chloe's the black one if you didn't see, Chloe, knock it off, I'm trying to do a video, okay, uh, man, <laughs> alright, so, you can see right here on the bottom, I, I couldn't, this is like the Charles Barkley ones from back in the day, I believe, the, the same, I remember one of them said Sir Charles, I thought, this one, it says not a, and it says roll model. And that's what the, the bottoms would say. If you guys were curious about it, uh, for those that didn't know. Again, the details on these things, I could go on and on and on about. I mean, at first look, I thought they were just kind of a hodgepodge of crap in my dog. Look at these guys. <laughs> Close his bare face. Hey, I'm trying to do a video. Calm your shit, ladies. Um, God damn it. I'm trying to get this out of the way. So the details on these things are crazy and and the fact that I had to sit here and think of all the things that they tied together you can see like obviously this material right here again everything's textured this is like kind of a, a textured it is reflective I believe 3m material textured different texture than here this is like really rocky and this is like paint splatter along uh, the air unit um, love how they did kind of a, a red swoosh right here hits a red right here along the the bumps on the front I don't know what you actually want to call them technical term Love how the, the laces even tie in with the red and the, the gray uh, with the bottom of the shoe, the ray guns, the eyelet thing here, and the pull tab, and even the back. Everything just pulls in all of the colors. First, again, I thought it was a hodgepodge, purples, reds, grays, and blacks, and it looks like it from, a, I mean, at, at first, but I guess when you look at it more closely, like, it's really well put together, in my opinion. Um, definitely another one of those ones I just have to say, like, until you see it in person, it's just, it doesn't really give it as much justice as, I don't know, everybody says it, but it's true. Um, as a comparison to some foams, um, maybe I do, 
these two like this side by side. You can see like, like this is kind of, a, it indents in and then kind of, kind of waves right here, kind of waves around. It's not the same exact as a foam posit. If you guys were curious, I was curious actually about that myself. Um, it is not, but uh, but it looks good. And these are my uh, my coppers that I, that I wear over there. Um, but man, dope shoe. Love the bottom. I believe it glows in the dark. I have not tried it yet. I will do a video or a picture on Instagram on that if you don't follow me. It's the same as my YouTube. I think that the paint splatter will probably glow in the dark too. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, do you guys like these things? Do you guys hate these things? Oh yeah, and then look at this. The, the added little feature of this thing, which this is this is reflective too from uh, what some of my people on Instagram told me, which I didn't, I mean, I assume when I saw it, but I didn't know 100%. It does say right here, Area 72, Top Secret, and CWBT963, Leeds, Alabama. Um, highly classified technology. Cool that they did this. This this confirms to with me that this is this year's version of obviously the, the phone posit um, or the Galaxy phone posit. Um, which maybe is the reason why I had so much so much draw. I again personally, I didn't look at. I looked at them. I thought, eh, they're okay. But now that, that uh, I've actually seen them in person, I'm I'm actually quite impressed um, with just the the textures and the amount of thought that went into to all of the uh, the layers in the shoe. Um, sometimes you just again you don't get it from a picture. But this video has gone on so damn long, man. Hopefully, uh, I don't know which one out of these like all of these you guys actually like the uh, the best. I mean, the bronze. I'm, I'm really glad I got these two. I, you know, that's funny because I, I mentioned this like in many, many videos ago. The only ones I really wanted originally from the pack were the freaking Kobe's and I didn't even get them. So, uh, but I did get a couple other pairs of Kobe's. I'll show you guys those. Tomorrow's video, I have a whole bunch more pickup videos, man. This is just ridiculous. I know I should probably do a dubstep sound and do them all in one, but um, for searching methods, I like to try to, to just keep it down to like one or two if I can. Um, but the next one will we'll show like four, at least four pairs. Um, definitely love those things. And it did come with uh, the paper in the inside again as, as uh, the previous ones. So, but uh, let me know which ones you guys like. Do you guys like the Barclays? Do you guys think they're ugly? Have you seen them in person and still think they're ugly? Um, this is like the People's Champ. I think these are like the People's Champs now. And I would like to really consider them the same as the, the, those from the previous year because these were, were like a hot item. Um, I believe this is kind of like the same effect. And they, you know, it's kind of cool that, that, that have them like side by side. Um, the, you know, the grays and like alternate between these two i don't know they just go together well um anyway i've been babbling long enough if you guys sat through this whole entire video give yourself a you know a pat on the back and stuff like that have a good one and have a good rest of the weekend we'll catch you guys for another video tomorrow and uh yeah thanks guys